today we're going to be talking about solving linear systems with three variables. So instead of the two that we were solving earlier in the chapter. The solution to the system is a set of points where three planes are going to intersect because you're talking about three dimensions. These solutions can have one, infinitely many, or no solution. And this is called an ordered triple. Now the possibilities that we have here, and you don't have to write this slide down, but I want you guys to have a visual of it, is if you have one intersection, so you know the intersection of three planes is going to be one point. But you can also have where the three planes intersect and they're going to all intersect in one line. So if you solve your system and they intersect at a line, then you know that you're going to have an infinite amount of solutions. Now, if you solve your system and you get something where it's not possible, then you're going to have no solutions. Now here are the steps to solving three equations. And yes, I want you guys to write this down. You have to first pick two equations and eliminate one of the variables. So we're going to be using a lot of elimination in this section. Then for step two, pick one equation that you used and one that we didn't use and eliminate the same variable. Okay, so now you have two equations with two of the same variables in them. Now solve for one variable. We've been doing this since algebra one. Once you've solved, you can go back and plug in and solve for the other variables. Okay, so let's go through an example. Solve this system of equations. Now first sit and analyze which variable might be the easiest for you to get rid of. Look for maybe if two of the variables have the same coefficient in two of the equations. Like for example, you see here the z is a 2, that z coefficient is 2, and this one's negative. So if I take this first equation and don't do anything to it, take our second equation and multiply it by 2, so make sure you multiply each and every term by 2. Now notice what happens when I add these two equations together. We get 9x plus 5y. The z term goes away equals 12. So I've used two equations, eliminated the variable of z. Now you're going to pick two other equations and eliminate the same variable. So you want to eliminate z again. Again, I might use this bottom equation, so I'm going to use the third equation. And let's take this second equation again, again and multiply it by 2. Now that we have that, combine to get 5x plus 6y, the z terms go away equals 26. So now we have two equations. We have 9x plus 5y equals 12. And then we have our other equation, 5x plus 6y equals 26. Now let's take and eliminate one of the x's or the y's 
in these. Now, I think it's going to be easiest if we eliminate the Ys. I think it'll get us some smaller numbers. So I'm going to multiply that top equation by a negative 6. So I get negative 54x minus 30y equals a negative 72. Let's take and multiply that by a 5. So I have 25x plus a 30y equals 130. Now add those two equations. So I have negative 54x and 25. That's going to be a negative 29x. The y term goes away. And that's going to be equal to a positive 58. I divide by 2, so we get x equals negative 2. So I want you guys to give me the answers in ordered triple. So negative 2, I need to find the y and the z. Now, think about it. You have two equations here. We have the blue equation and the red equation. I know what x now is, so I can take and substitute into one of those equations. I'm going to choose the blue one. So I have 5. x was negative 2 plus 6y equals... 26. So I have here negative 10 plus 6y equals 26. 6y is equal to 36. y is going to be equal to 6. So therefore, now y is equal to 6. Now I need to solve for z. I know an x and I know a y, take one of your original equations. I think I'm going to take the bottom one and use the bottom one to solve for z. Because I know x is negative 2 plus 4 times y, which was 6, plus 2z is going to equal 16. So I have negative 2 plus 24 plus 2z is equal to 16. 22 plus 2z equals 16. When I subtract, I get a negative 6, so therefore z is going to be equal to a negative 3. And I finally put that in my last order pair. Okay, our next example. Let's look and see here which variable might be easiest to eliminate. Notice how the coefficient on the y is 1. I could use this x2, but the coefficient on the y is 1. So if I take that and I multiply it by a negative 2, so I'm going to get negative 4x minus 2y plus 6z is equal to negative 10, and then take the bottom equation, the middle equation, I apologize, and just leave that one alone. Now when I take and I combine those, I get negative 3x, the y's go away, plus a 5z, I'm sorry, not a 5z, A 2z equals negative 3. So now I need to take the bottom equation 
and one other equation and eliminate the same variables. So I'm going to take my bottom equation, which is 6x plus 3y minus 9z equals 15. And I'm going to take the top equation and multiply that by a negative 3 because I need to get rid of y. So it has to have the same coefficient. Now look what happens when I add those. Everything goes away. So on the left side of the equal sign, I get 0. On the right side, I get 0. Whenever that happens, remember, whenever that happens, that means that there is all real solutions. where our intersection is some sort of three-dimensional line. So it's going to be some sort of line in three-dimensional space. So if you think about it, going back to our picture from the second slide, that's going to be this example here, where the intersection was some line. Okay, our next example. Again, look and see which variable might be easiest to get rid of. If you look at your y's, look at your y's. If I multiply that top one by a negative 2, we get a negative 6x plus 2y plus 4z is equal to a negative 8. Leave the second equation alone. Now take and combine. The x's go away, the y's go away, the z's go away. So I get 0 equals negative 3. So that's never going to happen, so there is no solution to our system of inequality or a system of equations. So going back to that other slide, it's one of these down here. Okay, the last example is a word problem. And I realize the numbers in this problem are kind of big, so kind of hang with me a little bit. Of course, I would let you guys use a calculator on this type of problem. So read, take a second and read through the problem. The problem talks about different types of seats in a stadium. We have three types of seats. We have X, which is going to be our upper level. Y, which is going to be the middle level. And Z, we're going to make the bottom level. Now we have to come up with three equations. The first one, there are 49,000 seats in the stadium. So that's an important equation to us. X plus Y plus Z is going to equal 49,000. There's another one. Tickets for seats in the upper level sell for $25. So $25 times the amount of seats I sell. Middle is 30 plus 30 times my middle level, which is Y. 35 for the bottom. That total revenue is $1,419,500. So that's our second equation. Now the third equation is this. The number of seats the number of seats in the middle 
and bottom row together equals, so middle and bottom equals the number of seats in our upper level. Okay, so how you would want to solve this is you have the top equation. I might solve this bottom equation for to get one side to be zero. So you have negative x plus y plus z equal to zero. I might use the middle equation and the bottom equation to eliminate a variable. And then what I would do is I would use the top equation and the last equation to eliminate a variable. Okay, and then you go through and you should get the upper level to be for our middle level and then our lower level Okay. The reason I didn't go through and solve these is it's getting to be a pretty long video and also at the same time you're going to have some lesson questions that you're going to have to do. Okay, there are your two lesson questions. You're going to have one of them is going to be an actual point and one of them is going to be one of our special cases. So where it's no solution or where it's an infinite amount of solutions. Okay, so please make sure you guys complete those on time for me.